morning from Fez. We just arrived here yesterday by train from Rabat. It cost us 140 dirham a person, but we did do first class. Second class was only 70 dirham a person. The train ride was a little under three hours and we got to see all of the beautiful Moroccan countryside. We checked into our Riyadh, which is a traditional Moroccan house. It has like a big open courtyard. And the best part is they serve you this amazing, delicious breakfast with so much food in the morning. The best. The best. It was only $52 a night which I think is a really, really good deal. And we're staying right inside of the Medina. We're currently on top of our terrace. Look at this beautiful view. Oh Overlooks the entire Medina. It's so nice up here. And today is so fresh. Just to have like cool 65 degree weather is just mm, so nice. Everybody stay together. If you need a bathroom, just let me know. I'll find this one. I'm the tour guide for the day. <laughs> you should also have toilet tissue for us. Yes, I brought toilet <laughs> tissue in the in the in the backpack. I have water, I have toothbrushes, I have wipes, whatever you need, band-aids. Right. I've got us covered for the day. All right. <laughs> All right, gather around people. We're starting our day here at the Blue Gate. It was built in the 12th century and it's one of the main entrances into the Medina. One of 15 entrances, right? One of 15 entrances, but this is the main one. So today we're exploring the Medina, which is the old city here in Fez. It has hundreds of little alleyways, over 9,000 shops and stalls, and it's the oldest and largest Medina in the entire world. <laughs> What a start. Live music. You saw a couple of donkeys walking through. Great energy in here so far. Look at the cats. Look at the ones sitting. They're all waiting in order. For the meat thing. Look, they're sleeping chickens. Oh, they're sleeping. I like how they're hiding. Hey, super fun start, right? It's it's so fun. The smells, the colors, the people, it's like so stimulating and it just there's so much to look at. It's fun. We're like three steps in. I know. These ones are awake. They're not okay. camera shy. You're not gonna get any fresher chicken than right here. Oh wow, you're wow. right. That is so true. <laughs> He would just tell me his dad was a butcher and he took over the business. How old were you when you started? When I was in school, I go to the shop and my dad to sit next to him. Okay. And of course, every day he touch my hand, you know, to have, it's normal when I catch meat. It's not the same. This is handmade. Yes. It's not the same like in Europe, around the country, everything by machine. And here you need to be cats and it's the pieces old by way. pieces, you know. I love that though. That's that's the way it should be, right? Traditional yeah. way. Yeah. For everything in it. In Morocco, the most things important and the most interesting for other people here to know what is, it's all it's handmade. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, I appreciate your time. It was nice to meet you. What was your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. I am A-B. Okay. You? Ahmed. It's Tommy. Tommy. Okay. You heard about the watch o'clock? I think so. It's this way? No, you have to stop there. Oh, let me jump. Oh, He's a pro. Watch him. Hello. This is the first water clock in the 14th century. Oh, okay. Hydraulic clocks. Okay. And it is 12 windows. 12 windows, it means 12 hours. One window, it means one o'clock. Ahmed took over my tour guide duties for a minute and he explained the ancient powered water clock and took some time to show us around his corner of the Medina. Oh man, thank you for your time. It was so nice to meet you. Yes. 
the detail in the design of everything, the wood, the tile, the stone, it's just incredible. Can you imagine the time it took to create this? This is the only religious site in all Morocco that non-Muslims can enter. You cannot enter the prayer room, but you get to come inside this beautiful structure. Beautiful purse, leather purse. He like burned it and like it didn't burn and he's like leather, like waterproof, fireproof. I don't know. Fireproof. How yeah. much did it cost? It was twenty-six dollars. What did it start at for the bargain? Three hundred. Wow, you guys are quite the bargain. <laughs> and he gave us a free keychain to go with it. So oh, well, well, there you go, throwing in freebies. Yeah, because if we paid too much. Too much. <laughs> That was super sweet. The guy invited me into his shop and played some music for me. What are you guys reading about? Uh, the street. The, just the name of the street saying how this is the longest, widest street in the Medina and then all the other streets are like smaller, more narrow and there's like some offshoots and stuff but this is like the main drag, if you will. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it's the argan oil. It's what? Argan oil. Argan oil, yeah, that's good. You make it fresh. This is the oil here. Okay, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for the explanation. We had some skins in there hanging. Skins? Yeah, for leather, you know. <laughs> leather skins? You know, they're skins. They're going to make into leather. Right there. Of an animal. I think so they have the, the the one guy like scraping all like the fur off of it and they're drying it to make all the leather goods. Pretty amazing. Everything's done by hand. It's pretty yeah. cool. He was just showing me this is all camel skin. Can you hit it again? Oh, that's so cool. So it's a drum and arm work. That's so cool. We then met another local shop owner who brought us to a neighborhood of artists, one being his uncle who has been a Berber artist for over 30 years. He showed us how they create the paintings with cow and camel skins, which are dried and processed in the Medina every day. Oh, oh, Is he the artist? Artist, my uncle. Uncle is the artist. Artist. And then those are all the paints, oh, huh? Teacher, me, yes, that's painting. So kind, so kind. You man. Thank you, thank you. So proud of Thank you, sir. Fez is known for its traditional leather industry and the tanneries offer a really fascinating glimpse into the leather production. We met a local guide who insisted on taking us through the entire tanning process which involves treating animal hides all the way to transforming them into leather. It was so cool to see the natural methods that have been passed down through generations. We just stopped into Fondue Bazaar to have a little rest. It's very stimulating going through the Medina. Everything is so great, but you need a break after a little bit, get away from the hustle and bustle. So we came in here, everybody ordered teas and coffees, some hummus for a little snack. We've just been like doing like kind of like a slow all day little walk and it's almost two o'clock and we barely seen just like the first part. So it was time for a break. <laughs> I think it's surprising how difficult their labor is and how hard they work and it makes me appreciate when I the price that I paid that probably wasn't enough for my purse that I just bought.
Real quick, we just wanted to update you guys on how it's been going with our new luggage. Level A sent us so many different bags to try, and so for the past six weeks, I've been using the Luminous Textured Navy Blue in 24 inch. I was experimenting with a bigger bag on this trip, but ultimately I have decided to switch to something smaller. And conveniently, Tommy's dad has also been traveling with the Level A bag, so he has very kindly agreed to switch with me. So, Meet my new luggage. This is the Luminous Textured in Black in the 20 inch. This is the one I'm switching to and I'm so stoked because it is so much smaller. This has pretty much all the same features as the bigger bag, like it has the dividers and the pockets. Level 8 has so many options. A while back I took a trip to Louisiana to visit my family and I used their Grace luggage, which is their most affordable option that they sell on Amazon. I loved that they have the front zipper pocket that you can put your laptop into. It was just super convenient for me because then I didn't have to carry a backpack. I've been using the 20 inch aluminum carry-on for the past six weeks. When you're traveling full-time like us, your luggage just really take a beating as you can see here. I really appreciate how durable this luggage is and how well it protects everything inside. It's a zipperless system with two TSA approved locks and my favorite part about it is how smooth the wheels are. This luggage comes with four packing cubes, <laughs> a luggage tag, and has a lifetime warranty. If you guys are interested in any of this level eight luggages, we'll leave a link in the description box below and you can save 10% by using our code Sammy and Tommy 10. Now back to the video. The tour continues. With the original tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sammy took us on a wrong turn, but it ended up being the right turn. Oh my gosh, those guys were so sweet. I had tea and pictures, and I was a little wary at first because, you know, we've already gotten the tour thing, but just free tea. Free tea and pictures. So sweet. So fun, right? Oh my god, that's the best part of the day right there. <laughs> After all that super fun craziness, we're ready to take a break. We're gonna grab some food and have our first traditional Moroccan meal. Well, I guess the name makes sense, right? Yeah, I did not expect that. It's a restaurant set in a ruined buildings with in like all this gardens. I didn't expect to see any <laughs> turtles. Thanks for the heads up, you guys. Hello. That's so wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're talking about taking pictures with those group of guys and about our experience in Medina and Dad said something. Hmm. The important thing is the human connection is what makes it magical. It is. And that's what we experienced. Yeah. Well, they were just so genuine with their emotion toward us. The love and the brotherhood and mm -hmm. uh, it was like family. That's all we've experienced so far, really. In Morocco, been, Morocco. Yeah. All just, the people showing so much yeah. love. Oh, wow. How pretty it is. So as usual, I, I asked our lovely waiter what his favorite is, and the only thing he said immediately was the lamb tagine. Looks amazing. We have plums, apricots, some nuts on top, sesame seeds. We also got a fresh Moroccan salad. The parents are already digging in this. It's delicious. The salads here have been so good so far. And Sammy, let's see what you got. I went simple. I just got a white bean stew. I love being in a country where I can order a white bean stew or lentil stew. It's one of my favorite dishes and I'm just very excited to be having this. Mm. Simple, delicious bean stew. Yummy. Mm. That's spicy so well. The lamb is perfectly cooked, melts in your mouth. Awesome recommendation. So I never think to add fruits and nuts to this lamb, but amazing combination. Like mom said, it gives us a little sweetness and I love the crunchiness of the peanuts. We 
we've just made our way over to the tanneries. There's a specific tannery here that you can pay a couple dirham to the owner and he'll give you some mint leaves and you can go up to his terrace and it overlooks all of the tanneries and the people working. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Pretty amazing view up here. It's pretty cool too. There's like three other viewpoints. Everybody's looking down on the tanneries. So many different colors with yellow, red, blue. The mountains in the background, you can see great views of Medina. What we lose for drums. Yeah, oh, okay. that's so cool. Those goat skins, these for and drums. The best quality we lose for jacket. Oh, for jacket. That makes sense. Yeah. What an amazing day here in Fez. Love walking through this Medina. The Moroccan hospitality has just exceeded my expectations. People are so friendly. So many great connections here. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all you guys. Love you all. See you guys in the next one.